Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome to my kitchen. I want to share this amazing recipe I came up with. These are gingerbread oatmeal cream pies and the cream filling, I made a pumpkin cream filling. So it's like a pumpkin buttercream. Absolutely spectacular. You are gonna love these and you are gonna add these to your fall repertoire. All right, we're gonna mix our dry ingredients. We have our one and a half cups flour, our half teaspoon of baking soda, and then we have our ginger, cinnamon, and nutmeg, our half teaspoon of salt, and our three quarters cups of oats. Now this is gonna be our dry ingredients and we're just gonna set these off to the side after we mix them together. Okay, we are putting our half cup of softened butter into our mixer and our one cup of brown sugar. We are gonna whisk this, and then we'll be adding our other ingredients. Okay, we're getting this cream together. In about 10 seconds, we're gonna add our egg and our molasses. In goes our egg and our black strap molasses. These molasses are gonna make the cookie so chewy and so is that brown sugar. I added vanilla to this and now it's time to add in our dry ingredients. Okay. Oh boy. This looks good. I didn't switch it to my other paddle, my stir paddle, but that's all right, it's all coming out. Now we have to chill this dough for 30 minutes. Okay, our dough has been in the fridge for 30 minutes, nice and cold. And so now we're gonna take bundles out, bundles, scoops, about like a, a one inch ball right there. We're gonna roll it. And then we're just gonna put it on our sheet. We're gonna do that with all these. A scooper would be great. I do not have one. We want them all to be, you know, around the same size. So um, maybe I need to put that on my Kathy Cooks for you list. We're gonna bake these in a 350 degree oven for 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to let these sit on my pan for just a minute or two because I don't want them to lose their shape. Um, but, you know, they look perfect. They look very well cooked. It's hard to tell with a brown cookie if it's cooked, if it has brown edges. It's kind of difficult, but they look great. They look like they have a great shape. Uh, we're just gonna let them sit a minute so that they can come off the pan easy. Okay, let these sit a couple minutes. They're coming off pretty easy. This is working better than a spatula. Oh, they look so pretty. OMG, so I have to tell you, I ended up with 19 cookies, so I had one extra, and they are fantastic, just like this. So chewy, an amazing flavor. The, the spices do not overpower it, man. Mm. Yeah, just eat them this way too. Excellent. Okay, it's time to make our filling. I have to let you know, I have never made this before. Um, I'm making this up as I go. Since it is going to be a pumpkin filling, it's going to be different than, you know, the white cream. I'm trying to get it to be pumpkin color. So therefore, I have to use pumpkin. Now, pumpkin does have some flavor, but what really gives you the pumpkin flavor is the pumpkin pie spice. Uh, which, as you know, it's just got lots of different spices in it. So um, we're gonna do this together and I'm gonna show you how I come up with a recipe. Okay, we are gonna start by putting in, let's see, what it was that? Three quarters cup of butter, um, softened. Now, just so you know, softened butter should still feel slightly cold. Room temperature is not gonna give you like butter about to melt like you get in your microwave. 
So just FYI. And I have two cups of powdered sugar. And then we're going to put in our vanilla. You know I'm not gonna measure. Probably a teaspoon. We are going to start with just a quarter cup of pumpkin. Then we got our pumpkin pie spice, just a quarter teaspoon. And remember, our cookies have spice in them also. Let's see if we get the color I am desiring. Oh, definitely has an orange look to it. Perfect. Is it just me or does that look amazing? Okay, let's get a bite of this and see if I need to do anything to it. Does this look great or what? Um, perfect color, uh, consistency's perfect, not falling off my mixer. Mmm, I can actually taste the pumpkin. I'm surprised with only using a quarter cup. I can taste the pumpkin. I think I am going to leave well enough alone because I have so much flavor in those delicious cookies. So let's get this deliciousness into that deliciousness and have a party. Oh, MG. Um, absolutely spectacular. I'm so excited. Oh, that orange really shows up well. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And then we're going to wrap them up. So when you give them away, it's just like getting a, a little Debbie's, but these are so much better. Okay, it's time to try it. I um, put this in the fridge for a little bit. You can have them serve them cold, serve them room temperature. That's up to you. Remember, you have a buttercream in there. So how do you like your buttercream, cold or room temperature? I put some in the freezer too. So, ah, uh, look at this gorgeousness. Oh, I love the orange color in the center. So cute. Oh, I'm just gonna tear a little piece off. Mm. Oh, that cookie is so chewy. Mm. It's delicious. It's rich. Wow. Now, you don't have to put this much filling in it. This one has a little bit much. You know, so remember, you get to decide how much filling you want in there. Mmm. Spectacular. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cook's video. Please subscribe below and give it a thumbs up.